Hey everybody, Neil here. Welcome back to the Weekly Source, our Eclipse edition. So we've got another special guest with us today, Mark Ryder, the head of innovation at NFP. Mark, welcome to the Weekly Source. Thanks for having me, Neil. Yeah, glad to have you. You're going to be speaking, obviously, um, the last day of the conference, so right, we're, we're, right. we're pumped for that. But um, for those watching at home, head of innovation, I guess, what, what does that really entail? Yeah, so head of innovation is a role I took on about eight, nine months ago. Um, innovation as a whole, the initiative at NFP, we launched it about two years ago. And really the purpose of innovation is to be a, uh, a, a really a guide uh, to help push the envelope internally, helping the company to uh, rethink the way we do business, rethink sure. the, the way we interact with our customers, with ourselves, with our uh, employees, and to really just help to uh, move the needle. Really yeah. move the needle far as an organization and take advantage of the tools and resources that are coming to market. Love it. Yeah, I mean, and it's something we've obviously have topics on it during the conference. We're hearing more and more about the influx of innovation. I mean, where do you see uh, the driving forces, I guess, of innovation being front and center now? Yeah, so it's it's the word that everybody talks about. Right? Every yeah. conference, uh, conference has innovation out there, but you know, when you peel it back, uh, you can't just go to the C-suite and say, hey, we need to innovate because just because. Sure. There has to be something behind that. And... Uh, there's a number of things. I think if we sat here on whiteboard, we could come up with a number of different reasons why and ideas. But I, I would boil it down to, to two major things that we like to point to. Uh, one is uh, advancements in technology, because I, I, you know, innovation is not technology. Uh, it helps fuel it, but sure. innovation is really ideation and, and rethinking the way things are done. Definitely, technology is, a, is helping to provide uh, better ways to accomplish uh, your goals as well as demographics. And uh, you know, when we boil down the advancements of technology, we look at three buckets. So it's the way data is gathered, the way it's stored, and the way it's acted upon. And that's really, when you think about it, that is the Internet of Things. Yeah. That's things like blockchain, and then that's things like AI machine learning. Yeah, which you just got out of a session. They were talking about that. So how, if everyone's talking about it, everyone's trying to innovate, how at NFP are, are you guys kind of staying ahead, staying competitive with innovation? Yeah, so I think our, our, our initial... I guess entree into the innovation space was really around doing the research. So we established an innovation lab. Um, it's not full of data scientists. We're not sure. building product, but we're doing research. We're okay. trying to understand the tools and resources and solutions that are coming to market, the innovators that are out there touching our property and casualty world, our employee benefits world, our retirement world, mm -hmm. and making sure that we've sourced that information and then we are taking that information forward and educating our advisors and then them ed educating their customers on what's happening. Um, this last year, though, we realized that just building a database really isn't enough. Sure. Um, what we really need to do is infuse innovation into our culture and allow our employees to realize that um, it is okay to step outside of the normal box and to bring new solutions because that's how uh, things are going to get accomplished. That's so, uh, kind of right now, it's a, it's a dual um, purpose. Part of it's research, part of it's the employees. And, and really, when we look at our ecosystem, the other part is employer groups. You know, our yeah. clients need to realize that. As consultants, we can't do it by ourselves. Sure. These startups that we're seeing every day, they can't do it by themselves. The employers have to be bought. And they have to be educated to be able to use that technology that you're working to innovate and for drive sure. things forward. For sure. sure. Absolutely. So, th I mean, themes in the lab. What, what's got you most excited? Things that you guys are either seeing or, or being implemented today? Yeah, I, I think, you know, areas we're key, keyed in on, um, chronic disease management. Mm -hmm. you, know, when, you know, if we're talking about employee benefits, which is most sure. relevant to the, the plan source space here, um, chronic disease management and it's utilizing the internet of things it's wearable devices it's bluetooth and uh, technology that's allowing you know diabetes management to done be done more effectively and to actually meet the employee or the participant where they are when they're in the midst of having awesome. a high blood sugar uh, event um, so you know I, I think that's one of the areas that we're really focused on the other is genomics um, and, you know i don't think it's what might have been seen five, ten years ago being really creepy. Sure. Uh, <laughs> that, that's not the case anymore. Yeah. I've been, that's part of the 23 and me has really done a great job of taking, you know, commercializing that and, and, and bringing it back into your ancestry. But so once, and that's one of the things we look for in um, platforms, if it is something completely different than what's happening in a personal life, it's the likelihood of that catching on is probably limited. Sure. If employees or and individuals have adopted that kind of technology already in their personal lives, then you're more likely going to be able to bring that through. So in the genomic space, we're seeing a real focus in on identifying you know, cancer uh, early. We're seeing the ability to hone in on better uh, specialty drugs and not have to go through that, that phase of trying a drug and finding a dent work sure. and a potential reaction to that. So 
those are two areas that we're, we're really excited about and Very seeing cool. some impact. Love it. Yeah, and stuff that hopefully can be implemented more and more as we move forward. So. For sure. Love for it. Sure. Well, last question, more of a fun one. I know uh, Philadelphia, you're an Eagles fan, so am I. Yeah, so uh, predictions for this year. We're two years removed from a Super Bowl, first Super Bowl in franchise yeah, history. I mean, so. listen, I love Nick Foles, but I, you know, I had to go with the Wentz train. Sure. I do believe that Carson's going to take us to the promised land. I'm, I'm looking. It's a tough schedule. Yes. Uh, let's say uh, we're looking at uh, 11 and 5. Heading into the playoffs uh, with some good momentum. I like taking it. All the way to Super Bowl. As long as he stays healthy, I think we're good. Yeah, Love it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm with Go you. Birds. Go Birds. Thanks so much, Mark. I appreciate it. Thanks, Neil. Yeah, appreciate see you. Thanks, guys.